Hello guys, me Carson is aka Happy Carter 957 and welcome to a new game that I'm gonna do and it's a racing game. It's called Tony Stewart All American Racing. So as you saw in the introduction, there were a lot of dirt cars circling around the dirt racetracks so and I hope you're gonna enjoy all the three series in Tony Stewart's game. And they are Street Stock, Legends, and Big Block Modifieds. So, yeah, US Legends. So, I forgot to name the exact series. So, it's not a big age. So, this is this video was pre recorded two months ago, like around early September. So, you probably might have. Playing the game or two if you're a real race fan. So, I know half of you are dirt fans and half of you are asphalt slash pavement fans. This is basically an ass car. So, hey, they're gonna have a dirt race at Bristol on the high banks, I'm telling you. And one of those high banks basically is Sawtooth Mountain, I believe. That's like one of the dirt tracks that resemble Bristol, so give me a big spoiler on that part because you know how I want to get into dirt and how how to maneuver the car on dirt, you know. But the earlier in the day I figured out a magic setup from Red 4424 who's like the master of dirt racing and hey he gave me gave us a chance to you know look at his setup see what bumps and rebounds to use in the shock settings which is you the the suspension to make a car maneuver around for the turns smoothly so I'm just flat out in the accelerator and I never let off and that's what you have to do in dirt racing that's why Kyle Larson is the best at it so basically hmm what do I want to say this is one of the second dirt games I've played and the first one in the spring was Tony Stewart Spring Car Racing so I might do a comparison and contrast so yeah I'm not the best at explaining things but if I do show you a split screen between the two forms of ra racing disciplines you know between spring car racing and you know stock car racing basically <laughs> street stock US Legend cars and big block modifieds. They're usually run on asphalt, but I guess he want Tony still wanted to do it on the uh, on dirt, so I'm happy with that. So see so yeah, I'm doing a bunch of these adjustments on my controller cal calibration so when I steer the car I'm not gonna have any issues in the turns and sometimes in the straights so that's all I can say so sit back relax and enjoy Tony Stewart's introductionary vid video of how to get around spring car racing or all-american racing so enjoy the show Ever since I started racing in go-karts, you know, when I was eight years old, my focus and my mindset has always been the dirt track racing. It's the feeder system, first of all. I mean, there's more dirt tracks than pavement tracks around the country. And if you're gonna get to a major form of motorsports, you don't have to run dirt to get there, but the majority of the guys that really rise to the top, it seems like, have some sort of a dirt track background and really understand that car control. You know, on any given night, I'm out at those tracks as a driver, car owner, track promoter, series owner, or if you catch me on the right evening, I may be all those things in just a single event. It's all about the people that you surround yourself with. 
you have good quality people, then it makes that job and the goals of winning races and winning championships a lot easier. Brett and Eddie and I have kind of always been a triangle that, you know, we always bounce the ideas off of each other. And Eddie's the guy that kind of works with a lot of the sponsors and keeping my schedule straight and, and keeping details organized. And Brett's the dollars and cents guy. He's the business guy. He's the guy that has to make the finances work. Having those key people in place allow me the opportunity to take the time to be the driver. Each time that you have to make a decision, make sure you put those other variables out of your head and just focus on the one decision you're making at the time. So as a driver, focus on the driving side. You know, when it comes to the ownership side, worry about being a business guy. Each time we've expanded, we've obviously taken on a little more risk, but I don't really look at that part of it. I look at the opportunity it creates. Maybe it wasn't the path I set out to build for myself, but it's been an amazing ride. I'm proud of this new career mode we've built. It allows for you to expand your race team as an owner driver, just like I was. You make the decisions on which series you want to run and how you want to invest. But just like everything in racing, it all starts with a great performance on the track. That's how you're going to build the reputation to get sponsorships and ultimately drive the revenue to invest in your race team over time. You may even get some opportunities down the road that you weren't expecting, just like I did. You never know. I'll be keeping an eye on your progress. Good luck out there. I'm excited to see where this takes you. So, I haven't told you this, but I don't want to be lazy and not show you my practice times around this one random dirt track that I was supposed to do, so. So really, what did you guys think of Tony Stewart's introductionary video? Did you like it, or you just suck at it? Suck and don't like it. Or, think he sucks. <laughs> uh. I don't suck, but he does. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so, yeah, this is my fire suit that I'm going to be using for all my dirt series races. So, that's all I'm going to say about my uniform. Just, I will skip a few parts and show you my first laps around i think straight river that's the name of the racetrack so see catch you up catch you there
Hello everybody and welcome to Straight River Speedway. We've got a full day of intense racing coming at you on this tight one-third mile oval. The drivers are fired up and ready for action and so am I. Let's go racing! If you haven't been down to the midway yet today, you better head on down quickly. There is still time to catch the showcase drivers before they finish their autograph sessions. Stop by and say hello and wish them good luck. Like I said, I'm not going to be lazy. Whenever I do a new video, I just want to show you the ins and outs of how to play the game and how to set up the car for each of the tracks. So there's like three forms of dirt racing. The low bank, which many of the racetracks have, that's like flat track. Variable banking, which has in the low lane is low banking, middle is intermediate, and then high banking is more like the Bristol type that you see like 24 to 28 degrees of banking so so here is straight river speedway so i'm going to be doing some practice laps around here and give me a rating of one to ten of how you felt about it so or comment down in the description below on my youtube channel happy car 57 and see what you think about how you feel about it so I know I pre-recorded this in September so it's been a long time since I did a review or I have another review yet on what I did earlier in the game so, so in one of the Xbox achievements I am close to beating the game I did Five star rating for the street stocks while the US Legends and Modified or Big Block Modifieds. It's gonna take some time because I have to have these consistently win races and all that. Figure out that magic setup. Get around the track there last time. <laughs> Look at me in the streets. You're just getting around me left and right, I'm telling you. Yep, that's why it's called practice. Just to get acclimated to the track. So basically I'm gonna do like four laps of practice and then from there so I'm not gonna commentate on my first few races of the season. Other than the my season day noon, and then I'm not so sure I'm doing the second race of the season out of the 24 regular season right? points ping events that I'm doing. So I gotta do my job, but I'm not actually gonna pay yet. So keep sus subscribing by clicking on on that thumb ugh, bell button. If you want to subscribe for more content, so I'm up to like 64 subscribers, so 36 more. So keep doing that bell button, okay, guys? And keep liking my post by clicking on the thumbs up button, so you can, I can get more recommendations for the, all the videos I'm doing. So I want to appreciate your guys from. Watching all my videos, especially Xfinity and Cup events in 2020. It's been a long COVID-19 pandemic that's going on since around March. And I, I want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's if you guys are going to go on a long vacation or no, or not getting to YouTube this off season because 
February is when Kyle Larson is going to be back in NASCAR, so catch him in Daytona next February. Especially the class, the duels, and the Daytona 500. And that's why I like him. So, this will be my end of my commentary for today, so. Okay, happy kind of 957. Y'all have a good evening and be sound and enjoy this daylight savings time. Yeah, daylight savings time. Time for the break. Peace out.
Welcome to Baxterville Speedway. This mid-bank third mile oval is the pride of this small racing community. We're bound to see some great racing action today. Number five is just about to start. The top two cars advancing to the dash. Drivers are checking their belts one last time. Here we go. The green flag is in. And here they are, the official results. It's time for the D main. The top five all advance to the C main. We're just about ready to go. The green is out and they come roaring the line down towards the first turn.
let's take a look at the official results. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so click on that thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you have any thoughts or feelings about the most recent YouTube video you just saw, share a comment right below the description so I can share some thoughts and feelings with others in the community and make them feel welcome. So. I'm AK Happy Corner 957. Y'all have a great day and peace out.